Fantastic form and the top scorer in the league. Can he add to his tally today live on EA TV? It is a stadium that has a feel very much of its own. I'm talking, of course, of Craven Cottage. I'm Derek Ray, and my commentary partner, as always, is Stuart Robson. And what we have for you is live action from the Championship. It's Fulham, and they take on Blackburn Rovers. Well, Derek, when looking forward to this game, you can't help but notice there are some great matchups all over the pitch, particularly in those central areas. Whichever team wins more of those battles will win the game. Simple for the keeper. Giving it a try. And he read it really well. Fine save. Delivering it. Taking care of business defensively here. Has a go. And just over the bar. Really good effort. No two ways about it. Frustration and disappointment for the Fulham fans. This is not how they envisaged it. Well, it's been such a disappointing season. With the squad they have, they should be going for the title. They've been far too inconsistent, both in terms of effort and quality. The referee is given a corner. Played over. And the danger's still on. It might be perfectly set up for the counter-attack, you know. They need to get bodies back. And a chance to whip it in here. Reed. Excellent use of the ball as they make their way forward. Not quite the accuracy he was looking for. That'll be a goal kick. Well, he really is danger personified, but in this game, Stuart, what do you think we might see from him? Well, he's been in fine form in the league, as you can see from those stats, and it's going to be a real test for that back line to keep him quiet. If they switch off, even for a minute, they'll be punished. And a goal! 1-0 it is! They've been pushing for the opener, and now they have it! Well, here it is again. He hits this so sweetly, doesn't he? That's a brilliant goal from a top-class player. Well, the ball is moving once more. How important will that opening goal prove to be? And the ball in the net at Bramall Lane, I believe. Let's get details from Alex. It's a goal for Nottingham Forest. They've scored the opener with 26 minutes played. Alex with the info as ever. It has to be! Well, the keeper is happy. The bar was there. Well, it was certainly a chance to get back into the game. And you have to say they're a bit unfortunate. But they do need to finish off one of these chances. Oh, great vision. Making excellent progress with the ball at his feet. Well, the keeper has outdone himself. Wonderful save. good reflexes and danger averted playing it in not fantastic defending let's see if it helps the opposition and the conditions look pretty good for the counter attack well it wasn't the best piece of finishing in all honesty goal kick yeah it was all good until that final effort just shows you how devastating they can be on the break though and breaking developments at the Riverside Stadium Alex Scott Yep, it's a goal for Middlesbrough. No one was marking him. He had too much time, and it was a simple finish in the end. It's now 1-0 with 38 minutes on the clock. Many thanks, Alex. And teammates to play it to. Well, they haven't overcome all the difficulties. He's blocked it!
Well, these stats confirm how poor their finishing has been. Their general build-up play until that final shot has been excellent, and they really should be out of sight by now. Will they oh, look, look at this, Stuart, an opportunity. No shortage of excitement. Level again. No wonder they're excited. So underway again here on the back of that leveller. The first half here comes to an end. And with play stop, they will make the change now. As anticipated, plenty of talking points so far. And now the second half is underway. Harrison Reed. And on the ball, Kearney. A very good tackle. Action from the quarter-finals of the FA Cup coming your way on EA TV. It's Fulham taking on Chelsea. Well, Derek, everything to play for in that game. A place in the last four. What a game that should be. It should be really tense, it should be dramatic, and I'm looking forward to it. Well, that is how to run at defenders. But nothing comes of it. And I'm hearing in my headphones there's been a goal at Bramall Lane. Alex Scott. It's a second goal for Sheffield United. It's now 2-1 with 56 minutes played. Thanks as always to Alex Scott. Superb block. Can they put it away? Player in the way again. Oh, a smart stop. Well, just listen to these fans. They're urging their team to score here and take the lead. So deciding to make a personnel change at this juncture. Cleared away. And making the run to the inside. But ultimately up a cul-de-sac. And a good-looking ball. Well, more championship action for you to look forward to on EA TV. It's Blackburn Rovers facing Bristol City. That should be a tasty encounter. Plenty of quality in those two sides. Certainly one to enjoy. I must say, this looks promising. Magnificent challenge to win it back. Now can they counter clinically? Read it superbly to take back possession. Into the final 20 minutes. And he's in. Well, the keeper was called upon and delivered. Well, he's so good in those 1v1 moments, and he's proved it yet again. And I'm hearing someone has scored in the Reading game. Let's find out who. Here's Alex. Yeah, it's a second for Millwall. They're pulled ahead by two with seven. Oh, in with a chance. And he's made it a brace for himself. The defender's just unable to stay with him. And he's having a field day. Well, as you can see, he beats the defenders so easily with a change of pace. And then it's a decent finish. That's a very good goal, you have to say. Well, a dramatic moment near the end. And that might well be the decider. Well, apologies to Alex for having to cut her off when we did. For clarification, Millwall have scored in that game. And the lead at the moment is 2-0. Oh, it was a close run thing, but the goalkeeper just got there first. Now we're inside the final 10 minutes in this one. Well, something has happened in the Reading game. Alex is going to tell us exactly what. It's a third for Millwall. They're ahead by three now with 80 minutes played. Thank you, Alex. Trailing as they are, they're not likely to get too many opportunities late in this game. 
and they could face difficulties here. Well, quite simply, not precise enough from that position. Substitution for form coming off the pitch. And with play stop, they will make the change now. Coming off the pitch, number 23, Joe Bryan. Well, nicely cut out. Lewis Travis. Could be dangerous. Well, they couldn't quite muster a real threat. Well, adding up all the stoppages, we will have two extra minutes. Now, can they create something? And excellent goalkeeping. Well, it is good goalkeeping, but the finish wasn't really good enough. And there it is, the final whistle. The home fans are going to be happy with this result. Well, Derek, they didn't dominate the game by any means today, but overall they had the better of the chances and...